Hi guys, so based on the title, you already know what I'm doing, but I know it was literally less than a week ago whenever I dyed my hair purple because I'm impulsive, and now I'm impulsively trying to get it back blonde. Um, I didn't really think if you watched that video, you saw like midway through me have a realization that I have auditions I have to film. Also, I didn't think about this until halfway done making my hair purple, but if you didn't know, I do like acting on the side and I have a lot of auditions right now. Like I record them and I submit them online. I didn't think about that until after my hair was already half purple. And I like my hair purple, but like it's time to be blonde again. I've shampooed it a lot and so it has faded a lot from whenever I dyed it. And I could probably wait a couple more weeks and it'd be back to normal blonde, but I don't have the time for that. Maybe, like, if you dyed your hair color and you either just hate it or you just need to get it back blonde and you don't want to bleach your hair. Um, I really don't want to bleach my hair. I know I will really mess it up and I don't want to damage my hair. Done a lot to my hair and I just want to make sure it is in a good state. So this is a way to get all of the color out of your hair without bleaching it, without damaging it. And I watched um, this one girl's video. Oh, her name is Rari Kari. That's her YouTube channel. So I'm gonna put it in the description. That's the video I watched because I, I literally didn't even search for this. It just popped up in my recommended and I was like, this is a sign, you need to be blonde again. So I did a strand test already and obviously it worked. It is like white blonde right there compared to the rest of my hair. And so I know that it works. My hair, like this strand feels healthy. It doesn't feel damaged. And so I wanted to do that to make sure I wouldn't completely mess up my hair. So basically what you do is you take equal parts Dawn dish soap. It doesn't have to be Dawn, but some kind of dish soap. Developer. I only have 20 volume developer. Um, she said that she recommended you use 10 volume, but I only have 20 volume, so we're doing that. And then purple shampoo. Again, doesn't matter what brand it is purple shampoo, and then baking soda. Mine literally is in a bag. It looks like Coke. I'm so sorry, but it's not Coke. It's baking soda. I just like, we for some reason don't have the box. Put equal parts all into like a container. I already have some mix from whenever I did this strand, but um, we're going to mix more because I'm going to need more than that to do my whole head. I'm also kind of debating not including the purple shampoo in mine. Obviously, you, you can include the purple shampoo. I just like, I prefer my blonde hair not to be icy white, not to be cool toned. I like warm toned blonde just because I think it looks more natural and better on me. That's what my hair was before. I mean, I still use purple shampoo to get like, if it's like pure yellow or orange out, but I just don't want it to be completely icy blonde like this strip is. So I might not put a lot of purple shampoo in mine, but feel free to put as much as you want in yours if you're doing this. I'm literally just putting it into this container that I already have. I really hope this is gonna be enough for my hair. Um, yours will probably be a lot more purple. Mine's more blue just because I didn't put any extra purple shampoo in it. I'm just gonna section off my hair and then we'll start putting it on. Okay, so I just sectioned off my hair and I put half of it up and then now what you're gonna do is just take this and smother it all over your hair. I literally don't have a brush though to do this so I'm gonna be using an old makeup brush that um, I don't care about to put this all in my hair. Normally I would be really scared to do this but I did the strand test so I'm not really that worried honestly. I'm just excited for my hair not to be purple. <laughs> just like any other time you're dyeing your hair, you want to do small sections to make sure you get every single strand. Because then if you just miss a piece, then your hair is just going to be splotchy and we don't want that. God, I'm literally so impulsive. I literally posted a video of me actually dyeing my hair purple less than a week ago and here I am. Name a more like Gemini Lily thing to do ever. I'm literally using a makeup brush to do this. What am I doing? Okay, this is obviously going to take me a while, so I'm going to do the bottom half of my hair and then come back and show you guys. Okay, so I just did the bottom half of my hair, so now I'm going to take out this part and smother it all over the top half of my hair. And I literally spilled it all over my legs, so that's great. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. really focusing it on the ends too because like the top part of my hair like from, from my root down to like the midsection 
isn't even really that purple. It's more the ends because that's where it was blonde. I'm still going all the way through because the dye was on the brown anyways. I just, I really wish the salons were open so I didn't have to be doing this right now. Literally quarantine turned all of us into hairdressers. So we all turned into artists and hairdressers and just discovered new talents about ourselves. But you know, it's a good thing. We all learned how to do some new things. This is like kind of boring, so I'm just gonna come back once my whole head is done. So now it's all in my hair and I'm going to take a plastic bag um, because that's what she did in the video and put it on my head. Apparently you need a heat for this to work. Um, I didn't put a plastic bag on the one strand I strand tested. So I don't think this is totally necessary. I could be wrong. Maybe it's necessary for like large chunks of hair like this, but it wasn't necessary for the one strand I did. So she said leave it on for like 15, 20 minutes. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm probably just going to go watch Netflix for like 15 minutes and then show you guys it before I wash it out. So you guys can see what it looks like before I get in the shower. <laughs> okay. So it's been like, um, it's been like 10, 15 minutes since it's been on. So obviously you can see there's no pink or purple in my hair anymore. It kind of has like this greeny blue tint to it, but maybe that's what the purple shampoo was supposed to do and pull out. But, um, I'm just going to go wash this, like shampoo, condition it, um, put a lot of conditioner in it because it's probably dried out my hair some and probably use a purple shampoo. And then once I wash it, I'll come back and like dry it and then show you guys what it looks like. So this is my hair after I showered and blow dried it and everything. Obviously there's no more purple left in it and it feels really healthy still. Like I know a lot of you guys are probably skeptical and being like, oh my God, it's gonna damage your hair, but does my hair look fried? No, it does not. Like my hair feels healthy. It's like, it was like a little bit dry, but I feel like if you just really deep condition your hair, it'll be completely normal. My hair looks exactly like it did before I dyed my hair purple, and it still surprises me that it worked because I know I watched videos of people doing it, but like, it still shocks me how good it works, and like, oh my god, I'm so happy, Oh, But yeah, I am no professional hair person. I don't know anything about hair, like, actually. And so I don't know if this is going to work on every color, but I just know that it worked on me, and so I wanted to share that. And I saw that it works on, like, pinks and purples. Um, I saw one girl try it on her blue hair, and it didn't work as well, so... I think it really just depends on what color hair you have, what brand you used, but it definitely worked for mine whenever I used the Arctic Fox hair dye, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching if you guys made it this far, and make sure you're subscribed because I have really exciting um, videos coming up. I just got my Sheen bathing suits in the mail, so I'm going to film the try on haul probably today, honestly, and then upload it later this week. And then I have some other try on hauls coming, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed. And follow me on Instagram if you want to, you know, you don't have to. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!